Hola amigos, nos encontramos en Toy Fair y estamos visitando a nuestros viejos amigos de Gentle Giant que ahora nos presentan muchas cosas nuevas. Hi, what's the new here on, on Gentle Giant, uh, Daniel? Well, we'll start over here with our case. You know, Gentle Giant LTD has been doing high-end uh, collectible items, star, uh, busts, statues, that sort of thing. Uh, we have a couple of show reveals here in this case, starting with our bookends up top. Uh, we've got these nice marble, marble. Uh, esque bookends the, for Star Wars. We have Darth Vader and a Stormtrooper. They're sold separately, so if you just want two Stormtroopers, or if you're a Darth Vader guy, you can mix and match however you'd like. But they're nice, they're very sturdy, they've got non-slip feet on there, so they hold a lot of books, DVDs, Jedi journals, whatever it is you've got. Uh, in our collector gallery statue line for Star Wars, we've had kind of a, a bounty hunter focus this year, you can see. IG-88 was just released this week, so he's available now. But for the show, for the first time, we're debuting Forlom and Boba Fett. Uh, and then we're also showing off for the first time our sort of history of Wolverine Marvel Collector Gallery statues. Back here, in the, you can see starting with his first appearance, kind of with the, the cat ears and whiskers. Then you have the brown costume, sort of Frank Miller 80s version the Tiger Stripe 90s version, and then following up with Old Man Logan. Then down here we have our Scotty Young, uh, the Marvel animated statue line that we're doing based on those variant comic covers. We're about 20 characters deep into this. We've been doing it almost three years now. We've got seven new mass market lines that we're showing here. Uh, we'll start with these tiny tin pocket pails. These will be replica metal lunch boxes. Uh, that open up. They have a little thermos inside that'll be eraser material that you can put on the end of a pencil. Yeah. We've got Marvel and Star Wars for these. Uh, we've got some that are actual like replicas, like this is a lunchbox I carried as a kid. And then some that we've done our own designs based on the, the poster art and some of the style guide stuff. We might have some chases in the line, like this is the Japanese poster art, something like that. And they're just fun, you know, cheap collectibles that you can build. You can see you can put a lot of them in a small amount of space. And then next we have Bust Ups, which is a, a line that we did probably 10 years ago, that last time we were in mass retail. We, <coughs> excuse me. We were blind boxed before it was cool, now everyone's doing it, so we thought, why, aren't we, why don't we get the band back together, bring back Bust Ups? So we got it for Marvel and Star Wars, uh, five characters in the wave. There's no chases in, in these waves for the first one, but you know we might see that later on. These are snapped together, one-time buildable mystery model kits. So you have this little capsule that they come in. You see the characters on the back. There's a little corner that you peel up and it will be full of parts that you can use. You snap them together and you come up with something awesome. A nice dynamic, nice dynamic pose, Spider-Man, Spider-Gwen, you, know, you have the Vulture, you have a very angry green goblin. And Miles Morales as well. And Miles Morales, yeah. Standing on his chimney top. And in Star Wars, you know, we have Snoke, and again, you know, we try to take our same level of craftsmanship, so you can see that, I mean, that's clearly Supreme Leader Snoke and not some, you know, vaguely painted blobby thing. Yeah, and it's, a, it's also like a spoiler alert, he's already in the half. That's, <laughs> yes, that's right. Fair. <laughs> <laughs> then we have our Marvel Micro Bobbles. These are all original designs that we came up with uh, for these guys. Uh, they all have little bobblehead action on them. They each come with a suction cup that relates to their powers, their abilities, or their vehicle. Uh, let's go like the... Uh, the Green Goblin on his glider. Uh, they also have bases if you just want to have them standing, but you can stick them to things, have them interact. Uh, we've got a few chases in this first wave. We have Unmasked Green Goblin, and then we have a glow-in-the-dark Venom, so he'll be super creepy on your shelf with his eyes, teeth, and emblem glowing and, and glaring at you. Then we have Star Trek Discovery, which uh, we're, we're friends of that production. We helped prototype and 3D print some of the Klingon costumes for that. So for these, these are the actual digital models for the ships used on the show. Uh, they're $7.99 uh, MSRP. 
they're sh technically they're ship danglers, but we want to kind of take that category and elevate it again. So instead of like hanging from a little thing and bobbing around, we've made this clear articulated arm. It's got three or four points of articulation and it's got a suction cup. So you can stick them to things, build a fleet, have them interact. You know, you can have them battle, point at each other. And you can see just, you know, all the, all the detail, the weathering, the insignias, because we're able to use the actual models. So they're very, very accurate. here for mini heroes these are scaled down version uh, of our animated line but instead of like the the puck based collector we've got these nice uh, environments that they stand on that relate to their character fun little boxes that feature you know their logos and some of their costume features and again it's something you can build a, a collection quickly doesn't take up a lot of space they're fun for any age, any gender, you know, based on those, they're based on actual Marvel comic covers from those two months of variant covers that they did. Next we have Super Stills. Uh, busts have always been kind of our bread and butter at the company for the past 20 years. So we're taking them, we're using a different material, we're using high grade PVC, but we're still trying to capture the same attention to detail with the sculpting and the paint. You know, you can see like all the wrinkles in his costume all the lines of his webbing and stuff. But at a, it'll be a slightly smaller scale than our regular bus and a, a lower price point. These will probably be $24.99. And then finally we have our enamel pins, our Star Wars enamel pins. Uh, we have the entire Star Wars license so we can do characters, ships, logos, blasters, lightsabers, droids, whatever we want. We're gonna kick off with the vintage action figure. They'll be about this scale. These will be the, the designs that we're using. Starting with six of the original 12. They'll come in these blind box packs that have a little rip cord that says tear here. So you'll get it, you'll peel that off, open it up and see who you got. We have a very sort of retro-esque card there. And if you're a mint on card guy, you can leave it on there. There's a little kickstand where you can display it or you can wear it, whichever you prefer. Y bueno, por lo pronto, eso es lo nuevo de Gentle Giant que se puede conseguir. All of these will be available at uh, Toys R Us or that's, website, that's Amazon. Yeah, yeah, we're looking at like mass retail. So we're talking to, you know, places like Target and Toys R Us and Hot Topic and, and things like that. And we're looking for fall of for this year, fall of 2018. Así que próximamente búsquelos en alguna de las tiendas. Las figuras como siempre tienen que entrar a la página gentlegiant.com para poder encontrar este eh, estas preventas o tenerlas exclusivas. Well, Daniel, thank you very much again. Yes. Y nosotros continuamos en juegos, cohetes y coleccionables desde Toy Fair.